Hey guys, welcome to the WNL World Championship Finals. These are the general rules. First, there'll be a course demonstration at the beginning of the first wave for each division. There will also be a living document with these rules listed on the website with the link in the description below. First, we would ask you to chalk up before in the chalk zone designated for each athlete before getting onto the starting platform. You can have chalk provided for you by your coach while on the course. This is for courtesy of other athletes. Resets will be allowed on the platforms for stages one and two. However, they will not be allowed on stage three. Um, for the trusses, trusses will be considered incidental contact. However, hands only are allowed on the truss and you cannot grab over the top. Uh, all platforms must be touched. There are no skippable platforms. Um, and anything that we mention on the obstacle will be considered in play. If we do not mention it, you can assume that it is out of play. Hey guys, this will be the course rules video for stage three for adult female. When you guys are on the starting platform, you can pay attention to the lights on the side of the rig and that'll be your cue to go. Remember on stage three, resets on the platform are not allowed and you will not have an overall time limit. Instead, you will have a rest timer, which we will let you know to um, go before uh, you start your course. All right, for obstacle one, you guys will be starting on the platform here. We have first ascent. Hands are allowed on the bottom back of the blackboard here. As you guys begin the obstacle, hands and feet are allowed on anywhere of the green holds, as well as the top of the blackboard and the bar above you. Obstacle two, will, uh, I'm sorry, obstacle one will end once you touch the first clock here, which will begin obstacle two of the clock hands, which is a hands only obstacle on the blue ends of the clock only. You have a second clock here. Hands are allowed on the ring. Hands on the uh, third clock here and you'll be dismounting to the platform here. Clear. Obstacle three, we have storm in the gate. Hands are allowed on the bar, as well as the cliffs on the side of the swinging board. Feet are allowed on the doors here. You then have another trapeze bar here, another swinging cliff board, another set of doors, and obstacle three ends when you dismount here. Gotta remember the touch. The touch point. Clear. <laughs> obstacles four, five, and six will all be linked obstacles. Obstacles four, we have the birdhouses. Hands only are allowed on the blue pegs that will be set in the houses here. This obstacle ends when you touch the first cliffhanger ledge. Obstacle five, Brad's Corner. You have any of the blue cliffhangers to traverse here, coming around the sides here. Obstacle six starts here. So once you touch this one, that'll clear obstacle five. Obstacle six, Brad's Corner part two, will then begin here. And then you have the cliff here, as well as cliffs on both sides here to dismount to this box here. Clear. Clear. And clear. 
Obstacle seven will be the I-beam. Hands and feet are allowed on the I-beam, anywhere on the blue. Hands are not allowed over the top of the I-beam here. You traverse down. Hands and feet are allowed on any of the holds on the front as well as the top here. And then hands and feet are allowed on this board as well. You can also put hands on the black bar here and you are dismounting to the box here. and clear. Obstacle seven will be the VL burst. Hands are allowed on the bars here, as well as the cliffs on the back of the first board here. You have more cliffs here, which are hands only, a limit hold here, as well as another ledge on the back of this one to dismount to this platform here. Final obstacle. This will be a hands-only obstacle. You have a trapeze bar at the beginning, as well as the flying bar that will be set on the first holds here. The flying bar can enter the two cradles here as well. And then you have a trapeze bar at the end to dismount to your final platform. This platform is a touch and go platform. You may hit it and overshoot it and then re-engage that buzzer. It is the athlete's responsibility to engage that buzzer. You also must make contact with the platform. And that is the end of stage three.